the little p in a village a farmer lived with his wife they had no child that's why they spent their life sadly once an old man with long and white beards knocked on their door the farmer opened the door and invited the old man into the room then the farmer's wife spread a blessing tablecloth she brought green tea in the teapot with oily bun then the farmer invited the old man to sit the white beard old man drank tea ate bread and food and he was pleased as said to them i pray to god every wishes you have will be fulfilled so the old wishes of the farmer and his wife was actually fulfilled and a baby son was born in their house who was little and his parents named him little p many years passed and the little p could help his mother with her walks once his mother cooked soap and she wanted to carry it to the field for her husband at that time little p came to his mother and said mother i will carry the soap he put the pot of food over his head and went to the field he was singing when he was going the people wondered that a pot is running and singing someone who was taking the pot couldn't seem at all the little p reached to the field and went to his father and said sit down father and have your meal i will reap you can't hold the reaper said his father i can exclaimed the little p till his father finished having meal the little p reaped half of the wheat field the father became happy and praised his son the little p returned home Suddenly on the way he was walking he faced with a wolf the wolf was hungry the wolf called the little p he wanted to eat him but he couldn't gulp him and the little p stuck between his teeth because he was small the wolf ran and on the way he saw a flock of sheep as he wanted to catch one of the sheep the little pig cried out of the wolf's teeth hey shepherd the wolf wants to eat your sheep as the shepherd heard this voice he drew the wolf away then the wolf went on walking again in a place he saw a flock of goats grazing as the wolf wanted to eat one of the goats the little pig cried out again hey goats keep off because the wolf wants to eat you the goats heard this and ran after the wolf and the wolf ran away everywhere the wolf went and wanted to eat or catch something the little pig cried out of his mouth the wolf was very weak because of hunger the wolf was fed out of this boy and he didn't know how to release from him He wanted to spit him out of the middle of his teeth but he couldn't the little pig stuck firmly the wolf shaked his head but the little pig didn't fall the wolf ran again suddenly a hole appeared on his way the wolf stopped and tried to push out the little boy from his mouth into the hole then the wolf pushed him out and the little pig fell into the hole the wolf became happy and went away the little pig stuck in the hole and didn't know how to go out the little boy cried out for help after a while he saw an old man with white beard near the hole he had a walking stick in his hand the little pig became happy and cried out loudly Then the old man heard his voice. He was the old man that the little pig's parents had a good hospitality on him before. The old man noticed that someone is crying. Then the old man looked into the hole and saw the little pig. Then he offered his stick and the little pig caught the stick firmly and came out of the hole. 
The little boy thanked the old man and ran towards home. Seeing the little pig, his parents were happy. For having such joy, they took a party for the people of the village. Everybody was happy for coming the little pig back. Let's be happy along with them. The End